Welcome back, guys. I'm here with Professor Eric Nutzberg, and we're here at the Spring Branch HC campus, and we're actually in the department where they make a lot of cool music. Now, here's the deal. We got some really cool specifications over here. Uh, Eric, do you mind telling us what you guys got over here? Sure. Uh, this is our MIDI-1 facility where the students are going to uh, take in the first semester, and we have 12 workstations here. They also have a synthesizer, a sound module, a digital interface, and a, uh, a controller at each station. What software do you guys normally use in the introduction level classes? Okay, we start out on Digital Performer, and we spend most of the semester in MIDI, two, MIDI 1 with that. And then we take a little look at, MIDI, at, at uh, Logic Pro as well, which is, a, which is a very modern, very powerful software as, as, as well. We have a, uh, about one year program that's a certificate in audio engineering that they can get and they can get that along the way to an associate's degree. So usually when, when you finish the program here, you kind of earned both a certificate and, a, and an associate's degree. What application do you have running here? This is Logic Pro. This is a, a great modern uh, MIDI and audio sequencing uh, and recording uh, thing. We use it for, for sequencing. We use, in here we use both hardware synthesizers like, uh, like the Juno D that we have here and the, the students actually have another sound module. And, and then uh, this has a whole bunch of software synths in it as well. So we, and, uh, and not only that, but it has a bunch of loops that we can use where we can, we can use things. These are preset, by the way? They are. Let's see. And, uh, and we can start from... Wow. Really nifty. Uh -huh. And the great thing about MIDI is that, uh, that it's always adaptable. We can, uh, we can change the tempos on these things if we want. Um, you know, any, anything, we can, we can get in there and edit just about anything, you know, and then use that to uh, start building stuff on top of it if we want. I notice it's, it seems to be pretty, pretty user-friendly for the most part. So, so what you got? You got two layers now over here, and you have, you have a, a one bead, and you have an electronic piano. Yeah, and right now what I'm doing is I'm just building a, a project based on some loops. Okay. And, uh, and what I would do eventually, and I'm doing this very, very quickly, but uh, sure. eventually I would take some of these, I would replace them with, with my own playing, and I'd, I'd put some other layers on top of that. Wow. I'd probably expand this. Right now I'm just working with four measures. The, st the program here is really excellent, and we have, we have great facilities, great gear, and the students will get their hands on all of it 